Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video on the products that I've used. So I have all my products in just this Mac bag that I keep um, underneath my desk. So when I finish a product I just go ahead and throw it in the bag. So let's just go ahead and get started. Um, I'm just going to randomly choose stuff out of the bag. So the first thing I have in here is um, from MAC, and it's the MAC Fix Plus. Um, I love this. Um, I use this personally um, to set my makeup after I'm done or just to moisturize my face after I put on my foundation. So that way, when I go to put on my powder, it doesn't look too cakey. And I also love using this for um, my pigments. Um, if I want a little bit more... Um, if I want my pigment to stand out a little bit more or just to apply really easily, um, kind of like um, glitter, not only pigments but glitter as well, um, this is the perfect thing to spray on your brush um, just to make sure that that pigment stays and it doesn't get all over the place. So I absolutely love that pr this product for that. Um, I believe this retails for about $22, so I mean you get um, 100 milliliters, which is a 3.4 fluid ounces. I mean, for $22, I feel like this is a pretty good. Plus, they do uh, back to mask. The next um, things that I have in here are mascaras. I love, love, love mascara. Um, I just love mascara. I mean, I feel like, you know, the one thing I can't live without would have to be mascara. Like, I just love mascara. So, I have been loving some of uh, the Maybelline mascaras as I'm looking here. Most of them are Maybelline. Um, the first mascara I have here is the Maybelline The Rocket Mascara, and it just looks like this. And I absolutely love the brush on this. Um, it really gets into my lashes. It gets all up in there when I need, you know, a really good um, long. It really volumizes. And this is in the color blackest black so I really love this mascara and then I have two of the Maybelline Colossal mascaras um, I I mean this this mascara was whatever um, it does have collagen in it I think and that's why it makes your eyelashes really long and I really do like this mascara but I just wasn't a big fan of it um, so I probably won't be repurchasing this and then the next mascara I have here is the color, uh, or no, it's the CoverGirl Lash Blash Volume Mas Mascara. Um, I did not like this mascara at all. Um, I don't know if mine was just getting old after a while. Um, I've had it for a while in my makeup drawer. That's why I have so many mascaras is I had to clean out my, um, some of my makeup. Um, but I really wasn't a big fan of this, so I definitely won't be repurchasing this. And then the next one is the Rimmel London Day to Night Defined Length Intense Volume Mascara. I love this. This is um, the top of the mascara. And then it has um, the second one, which is just this um, brush right here. And I did like this mascara. It was pretty good. Um, I probably won't repurchase it just because I have so many mascaras I need to um, go through. These are from Bath & Body Works. And I just love these pocket backs. Um... The three that I have here are Sweet Pea, um, Warm Apple Cider, and um, Raspberry Pink Peony. I love this Warm Apple Cider. Um, I used all of it up. And then this um, Sweet Pea in here, it does have a little bit left. I don't know if you can see, but it's really like goopy, almost like goo. I don't even know, but I wasn't even trying to use that because <laughs> sanitizer is not supposed to look like that. I think it's just because it was really, really old. Um, and it was like hidden in the back of my makeup drawer and I didn't even know it was there. So um, I definitely always take advantage of the 5 for 5 at Bath & Body Works. And then I have this e.l.f. Creamy Eyeliner um, in the color black. And this is completely out. Um, it actually dried up a little bit because I think um, I left it open or one of my friends came over and used it and left it open. And I just love the packaging of these cream eyeliners. I think they're so sleek and unique and... Not unique, but they're just so sleek, and I just love the packaging on these. And the next thing I have here is actually another mascara. Um, I didn't know I had this on my lap, but it's just the Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara. And um, if it wasn't for the Jordana Great Lash, um, this would probably be my go-to mascara. Um, I still do use this, and I love it. Um, Wet n Wild is such an affordable brand, and I mean... 
this mascara is just amazing. I have a lash or a clear mascara and this is just from e.l.f. It's really, really dirty and I just actually finished it up. Um, I use this to set my brows or um, if I don't want to wear makeup, um, I just want to put a little bit of foundation on or powder or whatever, I'll go ahead and brush this through my eyelashes just to make my eyelashes a little bit long. So, love this. And then the next thing I have, um, I got this sample kit, um, it was from Smashbox and it had this little baby primer in it, it's called the Smashbox Photo Finish Lid Primer. I absolutely love this, I'm definitely going out and buying the full size of it. It makes my eyeshadows last all day long and it doesn't crease on me. I have really oily skin so my eyelids are super oily. And I mean this mattifies them and doesn't make my eyeshadows slip and slide and super easy to apply. I just want to go over foundations. Um, my current foundations that I have actually ran out of is the Superstay Makeup um, 24 Hours from Maybelline and I ran out of three of them. This is literally the most amazing foundation ever. Um, it makes me matte. Um, I wouldn't agree with the, it says it's a no transfer 24 hour wear. I don't agree on the no transfer part because it does transfer. Um, but I absolutely adore this foundation. I definitely repurchasing um, this after I go through some of my foundations because I do have a lot. So I need to go ahead and use that up. And I'm in the shade Classic Beige. And this matches my skin tone perfectly. And it actually gives me a little bit of a tan, so which is really nice. It matches my, my body. So love these. And then I am so sad because I finally ran out of this and I'm really upset about it because they don't sell this. It actually got discontinued. It is the CoverGirl and Olay Simply Ageless Eye Concealer and I'm in the shade 215. Um, I used this to spot correct and I literally used it all up. I'm so sad that they decided to discontinue it. I do have this one but in a lighter shade which I used to under eye conceal but now I have to be on a hunt for a new spot concealer um, and I'm really sad about it so I really hope um, CoverGirl brings this back out of a new formula or you know whatever it is because I felt that you know there was a lot of great hype here on YouTube about this concealer so I don't know why they discontinued so I really want to find um, another one to replace this one and then for hair care products um, I just have here this big sexy hair Spray and Stay All Nighter Hairspray. Absolutely love this hairspray. It's completely out. I really like this. Um, it's really like if you want to have those loose curls, this this is really perfect. I mean, I don't think it's like extra hold. Like if you have hair that's really hard to curl and it won't hold a curl, I don't think this is the hairspray for you. But if you do kind of like a loose curl and you just want to like set it in that place and for it to get a little bit looser, this is the um, hairspray for you. I absolutely love this and I actually think I got this in an Ipsy bag so thank you Ipsy for this. Coming down to my last um, couple of things in here, I have some nail polishes. Um, these are all Revlon and then I have one Zoya and I actually have really funny stories on how these nail polishes magically disappeared. Um, I know that the number one nail polish that you could literally never run out of is glitter nail polishes, which are what these are. Um, let me just go ahead and tell you the colors. This one is popular from Revlon, and it's just this pink um, with big specks of glitter and then small specks of glitter. It's really beautiful, and it's in the color 230, which is popular. And then the next one here is in Scandalous, and it's just the same but it's purple with the big specks of glitter and then the small ones. And this is number 761. And then my last and most favorite one is called Stunning. And it's just this silver, silver and just like glimmer. Like this is just the perfect glitter. Ew, there's like a hair on here. Okay, that's gross. Anyways, so yeah, I just love, love, love this nail polish. And this is in the... Um, the number 340. And then I also have this Zoya nail polish in the color Neve or Neve. I don't really know. And it's just this um, blue nail polish with a little bit of purple undertone in it. It has some purple sparkles in it, which is really beautiful. So, so the funny thing about these nail polishes is that um, I, I did use them a lot, but I rarely use them. I mean, you can never run out of a glitter nail polish unless you paint your nails glitter every single 
you know, every single day or whatever. But my lovely daughter, which she's three years old, actually got into my nail polishes, spilt this blue one all over my carpet, which I just got a new place, me and my husband. And, yeah, like not even two weeks into um, coming into this new place, she spilt this all over the carpet in her room because she got a hold of it. Which I don't blame her because I should have had this room locked, but, you know, I just have those lazy days where I'm like, oh, she won't get into my room today, and she did. And then these three, she totally just, like, I don't even know if she ate it or, like, what. Like, I'm not a bad mom. I watch my kid, but, you know, sometimes, like, they do get into stuff. You know, what can you do? But, yeah, so lovely daughter Sienna, thank you so much. Um, I have to go buy some more. And then the last thing I have here is just this Bath & Body Works candle in Peach Cabana. And um, these are only like one three fifty at Bath & Body Works. And it smells really good, but it ran out, came to its life's end. So um, I won't be repurchasing this candle just because I just bought a whole bunch of candles, um, which you can see in my Bath & Body Works haul that I will list down below. So, so yeah. This is everything that I got. Um, I'm really... I probably will most likely upload these every few months. Um, once I see a lot of products um, in the bag that I'm using up, I'll go ahead and um, record this video. So yeah, so that's everything I have for you ladies today. And thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Um, I hope you all had a great new year. Um, I am really excited for the upcoming year. Um, I have a lot of videos planned and a lot in mind. Um, if you guys have any suggestions or any videos that you want me to film, go ahead and leave that into the comments below. And don't forget to like this video. And until next time, I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks. Bye, guys.